Hi there science fans, today we're diving into the fascinating world of solar-powered irrigation. We're talking about using the sun's energy to water crops, cool, right? Renewable energy is super important for the future of farming. Why? Because it's clean and sustainable. It doesn't pollute our air or water. Plus, the sun gives us free energy every day. Solar energy is a fantastic example of renewable energy. We can capture this energy with solar panels. These panels turn sunlight into electricity which can then power all sorts of things like irrigation systems. So what exactly is solar-powered irrigation? It's a system that uses solar panels to power a water pump. This pump then draws water from a source, like a well or a pond, and distributes it to the crops. Here's how it works in a nutshell. First, solar panels absorb sunlight and convert it into electricity. Then, this electricity powers a water pump. The pump draws water from a well, river, or reservoir. Finally, the water is then distributed to the fields through pipes or hoses, watering the plants. Pretty neat, huh? Now let's move on to the fun part, building our very own model solar-powered irrigation system. Before we start building, it's crucial to ensure we have all the necessary materials and tools at hand. We need to gather our materials meticulously to avoid any interruptions during the assembly process. Don't worry, you won't need a whole laboratory for this. A simple workspace will do just fine. Here's a list of the essential components. First, a solar panel. This is the heart of our system, capturing sunlight and converting it into electricity. Solar panels come in various sizes and capacities, so choose one that fits your irrigation needs. Next, a water pump. The pump will use the electricity from the solar panel to draw water from our source. It's important to select a pump that matches the power output of your solar panel, then pipes or hoses. These will carry the water from the pump to our plants. Make sure they are durable and long enough to reach all areas of your garden or field. We'll also need a water source like a container to hold the water that our pump will draw from. This could be a rain barrel, a pond, or any other water storage solution. Additionally, connecting wires. These wires will connect the solar panel to the pump, allowing the electricity to flow. Ensure the wires are weather resistant and properly insulated. And finally, a switch, which is optional. A switch can be added to turn the system on and off providing you with more control over the irrigation process. A switch can be particularly useful if you want to manually control the watering times or if you need to perform maintenance on the system. Once we have all our components ready, we can start assembling our model solar irrigation system. This process involves connecting the solar panel to the pump, using the wires, setting up the pipes or hoses, and ensuring the water source is in place. With careful assembly, you'll have a functional solar-powered irrigation system ready to nourish your plants. Solar panels are like magical rectangles that transform sunlight into electricity. They're made up of photovoltaic cells, which are specially designed materials that create an electrical current when exposed to light. Think of it like this. When sunlight hits a solar panel, it's like tiny particles of energy are knocking on the door of the photovoltaic cells. These cells open up and let the energy in, creating an electrical current. For our model, we'll need a small solar panel. You can find these online or at electronic stores. Make sure it's the right voltage and current for the water pump you've chosen. Section 5. The Pumping Heart. Choosing the right water pump. The water pump is the muscle of our solar irrigation system. It's responsible for drawing water from the source and pushing it through the pipes or hoses. There are many different types of water pumps, but for our model, a small, submersible pump will work best. These pumps are designed to be placed directly in the water source. When choosing a pump, make sure it's compatible with the voltage and current output of your solar panel. You'll also want to consider the pump's flow rate, which is the amount of water it can move in a given time. Section 6. Connecting the flow, pipes, and hoses. Now that we have our solar panel and pump, we need a way to transport the water to our plants. This is where pipes or hoses come in. For our model, simple plastic tubing will work great. You can cut the tubing to the desired length and connect it to the pump's outlet using hose clamps or adapters. Make sure the diameter of the tubing is compatible with the pump's outlet and any nozzles or sprinklers you plan to use. Section 7. Water, water everywhere. Selecting your water source. Every irrigation system needs a source of water and our model is no different. We can use a simple bucket, tub, or even a large bowl as our water reservoir. 
Just make sure the container is large enough to hold an adequate supply of water for your model plants. Section 8. Building Your Model, A Step-by-Step -step Guide Now comes the exciting part, putting it all together. This is where all your preparation and planning come to fruition. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to building your very own model solar-powered irrigation system. Follow these instructions carefully to ensure everything works smoothly. Step 1. Connect the solar panel to the pump. This is the heart of your system, where the energy from the sun will be converted into power to run your pump. Using the connecting wires, attach the positive terminal of the solar panel to the positive terminal of the pump. Make sure the connections are secure to avoid any power loss. Similarly, connect the negative terminals of the solar panel and the pump. Double-check all connections to ensure they are tight and properly aligned. If you're using a switch, connect it in series with the positive wire. This will allow you to control the flow of electricity to the pump, making it easier to turn the system on and off. Step 2. Submerge the pump. This step is crucial for the pump to function correctly. Place the submersible pump in your water source, making sure it's fully submerged. Ensure that the pump is stable and not floating to avoid any interruptions in water flow. Step 3. Connect the tubing. This will create the pathway for the water to travel from the pump to your plants. Attach one end of the plastic tubing to the pump's outlet. Make sure the tubing fits snugly to prevent any leaks. Secure the connection with a hose clamp or adapter. This will ensure that the tubing stays in place and doesn't come loose during operation. Step 4. Position the tubing. This step involves laying out the tubing to reach all the plants you want to irrigate. Run the other end of the tubing to your model plants. Make sure the tubing is laid out in a way that it can reach all the plants evenly. You can use stakes or clips to keep the tubing in place. This will prevent the tubing from moving and ensure that water is delivered precisely where it's needed. Step 5. Test the system. This is the moment of truth where you see your hard work pay off. Place the solar panel in direct sunlight and turn on the switch if you're using one. The solar panel will start converting sunlight into electricity to power the pump. The pump should start drawing water from the source and delivering it to your plants through the tubing. Watch as the water flows smoothly to your plants ensuring they get the hydration they need. Congratulations! You've just built your very own solar-powered irrigation system. This system will help you save water and energy while keeping your plants healthy and thriving. Well done! Section 9. Real-World Applications, Solar Irrigation in Action Our model demonstrates the basic principles of solar-powered irrigation, but did you know that this technology is already being used on farms all over the world? Farmers use solar-powered irrigation to conserve water by delivering it directly to the roots of plants, reducing water waste from evaporation and runoff. They also reduce energy costs because solar energy is free and abundant, saving money on electricity bills, and, you know, consistent watering leads to healthier plants and higher yields, increasing crop production. Solar-powered irrigation is a game-changer for sustainable agriculture. Section 10. Bright Futures. The Potential of Solar-Powered Irrigation. The future of solar-powered irrigation is brighter than ever. With the increasing focus on sustainable farming practices, solar-powered irrigation systems are becoming a game-changer for farmers around the world. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more efficient solar panels. These panels will not only capture more sunlight but also convert it into electricity more effectively, making them a vital component of modern agriculture. Researchers are constantly working to improve the efficiency of solar panels, meaning they can generate even more electricity from the same amount of sunlight. This ongoing research is crucial for making solar-powered irrigation systems more reliable and effective. Smart irrigation systems are another exciting development. These systems are designed to optimize water usage, ensuring that crops receive the right amount of water at the right time. Imagine irrigation systems that use sensors to monitor soil moisture levels and adjust watering schedules automatically. Pretty cool, right? This technology not only conserves water, but also enhances crop yields by providing optimal growing conditions. And of course, increased accessibility is on the horizon. With more affordable solar technology, even small-scale farmers can benefit from these innovations. As the cost of solar technology continues to decrease, solar-powered irrigation will become accessible to even more farmers worldwide. This democratization of technology will empower farmers to adopt sustainable practices without breaking the bank. These advancements will revolutionize the way we grow food and ensure a more sustainable future for agriculture. By integrating solar power with smart irrigation, 
we can create a resilient agricultural system that meets the needs of today and tomorrow. Section 11, Conclusion, A Sustainable Future with Solar Energy. Today we've explored the amazing world of solar-powered irrigation, from its basic principles to its real-world applications and future potential. By harnessing the power of the sun, we can create more sustainable and efficient ways to irrigate our crops, conserve water, and reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your tools, put on your science caps, and start building your own model solar-powered irrigation system. Remember, every little step we take towards a greener future counts.